like Paul Hamilton here, we're in Tilt Brush on my Oculus Quest, just showing you here how we can pull from the poly library and kind of enhance through brushes. I'm learning as I go here, so I've just brought in uh, a bullet that I'm going to use in a Eureka Stockade kind of reenactment um, later on. And we're just going to try and enhance it by using some of the brushes in Tilt Brush. So we can go through and we can kind of look for a range of different things. We've got our color picker. Um, I'm on my left um, stick on my left hand. I'm kind of going through now. I've got my brushes. And on my right drew stick, I can kind of go up and down with my brush sizes. As you can see here, I've chosen a little Comet uh, brush, which is not what you'd typically use, but I'll look at that effect it has with the bullet. So that looks really, really great. Gives it a little bit of motion. Uh, fantastic brushes in Tilt Brush. Um, and we can do some other things. You can kind of experiment with some different areas. Um, we might look at, say, some smoke, for example, if we can find a kind of a white kind of smoke to give that impression, uh, another impression of movement. Um, but I'm really impressed with the brushes. I'm learning as I go here. This is all very new to me. Um, so if we choose white here on our color picker, and then if you can see here, I'm going up and down, I'll make it a really kind of small smoke type effect. Um, and we can kind of just go around it, give it that impression. I haven't got any characters in yet, but you can see there, I'm starting to kind of play around with motion, uh, getting things with a little bit of animation and, and some brushes that kind of give me some uh, movement there. Um, hope you found that interesting, using poly and using brushes in tilt to kind of give some sort of effect of what we're actually doing. And once again, you can play around with some different colors. Um, we might use the comment, uh, Comet brush again, but this time kind of use a bit more of a kind of hot pink ready kind of flame. You can see there, I'll make my brush big and small. Um, might give it a bit of a twirl in the back here, kind of a little bit more of a motion there. You can see there a little bit of different effect. Hope you found that useful. Uh, and obviously you can save all those in Sketchbook. Paul Hamilton here signing off.